this murder confirms that the Montreal war is not yet over. A perimeter is up and an investigation is ongoing after Montreal police confirm a 53-year-old man was shot and killed on St. Regis near Deakin in Dorval outside this gym. The victim is said to be organized crime figure Francesco Del Balso. Shortly before 1 p.m., the police officers were called because uh, gunshots were had been heard by uh, witnesses. So the police officers arrived on site and they found this 53 years old man seriously injured on his upper body. So um, uh, his death has been confirmed on site. Francesco Del Basso used to run the gambling for, uh, for the Rizzuto crime family. He had the skill and expertise on this field and he tried to uh, carve out uh, a space uh, in uh, the control of uh, extortion, uh, gambling, illegal uh, betting racket, and end up uh, clashing with uh, the organization leaders. The shooting is the third high-profile attack this year. In March, Leonardo Rizzuto, allegedly the head of the Montreal Mafia, was shot in Laval while driving on the highway. He survived with injuries. In May, Claudia Iacono, the daughter-in-law of a former Montreal Mafia member, Marino Gallo was killed in what's been called a targeted shooting in the parking lot of her beauty salon in Côte de Neige, NDG. Too soon to confirm if it's related or not, but for sure the police officers and the investigators are going to try to understand all of those cases in order to see if they are connected or not. There are media reports and speculation that Del Balso was involved in the hidden run on Rizzuto's life. He had tried to leave the country, which showed that he was being hunted down and uh, had no way to defend himself or carry on uh, the conflict. If he was alone, I don't think there will be any more violence related to these uh, two cases. But if he was supported by other people, other organizations, they may be a retaliation in, 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 in different direction in, in, in the next few weeks. And, and that will definitely uh, trigger more violence and more blood. I was talking to some uh, investigators a couple of minutes, uh, minutes ago, and they're, you know, now they're trying to figure out uh, what will the next move be? Will there be a next move? Um, you know, it's unfortunately a wait and see situation. Police say the investigation is still ongoing and no arrests have been made so far. In Montreal, Felicia Adam, City News.